Hey guys, it's Chris with Dirt Hog Racing. Today we're going to be in the trailer working. We got got some things going on in here. So as you can see, all of our stuff is just stored for the time being because our garage, our race cars in there. We're going to get it set up here in the next couple weeks. Hopefully we'll be go racing soon. But for the meantime, we had before going on is we had this toolbox right here over here and i actually had as you can see you had d-rings in the trailer there there's another d-ring over there but it was sitting on um caster wheels and what i wanted to do instead of doing that i just wanted to mount it here so i'm gonna mount it here and i'm actually gonna build in this video shelves here and here in a workbench top to go over top so you'll still be able to open this up there and then you'll have shelves here in here for all of our stuff and then these were mounted on the side we'll mount them up here for all of our oils and then this handle we're actually going to use it probably mounted up here and we'll use it as a strap holder as you can see our strap holder there is pretty full so that's what we're going to do in this video not much racing going on because the covid 19 going on right now but other than that we're going to get this trailer set up so when we do go racing our trailer will be completely set up and then getting this car dialed in um, for this year. So get ready for some B-roll, some build lapses. I hope you guys enjoy that because here we go. Three, two, one. So I had to take a pause break and I had to recut the boards because I am not a comp carpenter. So for everybody who's saying, oh, you should do this, you should do that. Well, I'm not a carpenter. I'm just all right with tools, I would say. But we had to cut again because I didn't realize that when I put this two by four up here, the measure there, and then put the plywood on top of that, that lip I want underneath of that there. So before, it was above up here, which would then cause the plywood to hit this and you wouldn't be able to open that. So just a little snag foo in our uh, design here, but we're cruising. the skeleton frame right here I mean um, you see there's gonna be a shelf here and then there's gonna be the tabletop up top here um, we're gonna actually instead of using wood on the back side here we're actually gonna use angle iron um, aluminum so I'll show you let me see, see if I can get out here right here we're just gonna use this aluminum right here we're gonna cut it and then we're gonna screw it on the back of that wall here down here for the shelf and then up here for the tabletop and the same thing over here we're actually going to put angle iron here 
aluminum, I should say, not angle iron, aluminum here, and then it's gonna sit right on top of that too. So we've gotta really measure everything and then make sure it's all go. like we're almost done we put the shelves in got the two shelves right here done just a few minutes ago they look pretty good and this one over there and then we got our countertops up top put in they look nice they're holding steady um, and we got our toolbox right there man does that look sweet so I was really excited about this project because I was gonna buy um, a toolbox toolbox setup off of uh, Midwest trailers or wherever online but I was like looking at after I looked at the prices I was like yeah I think we're gonna build our own so we built this with just the two by fours the plywood not the toolbox counting the toolbox I think we spent maybe 70 72 dollars with screws and the liquid nails and then the toolbox we had laying around from last year um, we got that from Harbor Freight as you can see it's a US General it's a really good toolbox and it had casters underneath so we were just like you know what we're just gonna throw that in there and then put the shelves around it and it came out pretty nice so this is just a skeleton it's not completely finished just yet like the top shelf up here is finished i wrapped it in carpet made it look nice but now we're going to do the front i think what i'm going to do here is i'm going to put um i think i'm going to use plywood like this sandy ply put it on the front and cut it out and cut windows out and basically make a lip right here up to about maybe two inches there two inches there and then uh flush up top here all the way around maybe an inch out here inch out here so make windows basically and then i'm going to paint it all black so you won't see the two by fours and um yeah it'll look really nice so that's our big thing for our trailer this week and the next episode since we're not racing anytime soon i don't foresee so we're going to do another thing for our trailer basically we, we we're redoing this up top here we just put a new outlet over here i'll show you guys that sorry for the mess it's now become a storage unit but we put that outlet right there for that light and actually you see there's an outlet there so all i did was drill a hole in there found that the wire was running from up top down sliced in that wire and then rewired it to have two outlets on it um and then the breaker i might run another breaker in here since i've got tons of access for my panel for an outlet over here possibly um i do have an idea about running an outlet here 
or somewhere down in here, maybe on this wall or somewhere, basically for if we ever needed to plug in something up top here, because right now all of our power is on that side. Um, no power on this side. So if I can do that, maybe I'll put an outlet there. And I'm possibly thinking about putting a radio in this trailer. I've seen a lot of YouTube videos and a lot of uh, posts about how to do that, wiring a car radio up here so it could sit up here with some speakers up on the roof. But we'll see how that goes. That's gonna be a lot more money. And I don't know if I really wanna do all that. I can just probably buy a radio off of Facebook Marketplace for cheap and just throw it in here and just push play. Cause all we really need is uh, the radio and I don't wanna keep using my data on my phone when we go racing. So I'm really happy how this turned out to wrap this episode up. We're just gonna finish up next episode. You guys will see the finished product. I'll have this all finished up, painted and uh, looking good. Guys, if you like this video, hit that like button. Um, leave a comment and remember to subscribe to our channel. Hopefully we'll be back racing soon. So we will show you some in-car camera and uh, some good footage because I know that's all you guys are all here to see us race this year. So until next time guys, I'll check you later.